Welcome everyone. My name is Lindsay here um, for the online classes here at Pi. I'm so glad to be here. I miss seeing all of you, but I'm sure I'll see you sooner than later. Know that you can use no props if you have weights, um, grab them, or if you have gliders, grab them, or maybe a yoga block or a yoga mat. You can definitely use carpet. Um, instead of gliders, you can use paper plates if you have carpet. And if you have hardwood floor, you can use hand towels. So please keep that in mind. Or you can do it completely propless, completely up to you. Um, but we're going to get your 30-minute bar class. Know that you can definitely extend um, these series longer um, to make it a full hour. But we're going to have a lot of fun, and I thank you all for joining me. All right, everyone. Like usual, we're going to start with the warm-up, warming up our muscles. So just type... Take a nice deep breath in, deep breath out, relax those shoulders back. We're going to head into our warm up, then head on to the upper body. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start by opening up from the hips, relaxing the shoulders back, just warming up your muscles. We're going to take a slight bend to the knees, just lower lift. Arms can be on your hips or they can be high circle. Making sure that your knees don't go past, or your hips don't go past those knees. Down, lift, lowering to your lowest point. Make sure that the weight is in the heels. Wiggle those toes, lower, and lift. Go ahead and put that imaginary corset on so that that lower belly is towards the spine. Taking from a side view, if that booty is sticking out, go ahead and tuck it under. Relaxing the shoulders, we're just warming up these hips. We're gonna hold low in four, three. Your gaze stays right in front of you. Hold low on one. We're gonna torso twist over to the right, twisting from the spine. Your hips stay square, stay on the right side. Twist, center. If you haven't already turned up the music, get on something bumping to pump you up. Twist, center. Relaxing the shoulders. Your gaze goes with opening up those legs. We're gonna to switch to the left in four, three, last two, last one. Come back to center, twist, wiggle those toes. If you're looking at yourself in a mirror, your spine is in line with that neck. Booty is underneath your torso, twist, center. Can you sink a little lower? Warming up these inner thighs. Last four, three, last two, legs and extend on one, arms go low, bending at the knees, your gaze goes high, then low, lift, lower, squeezing those glutes to lift that torso up, low, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo, and you can always keep going for that warm up, just warming up your muscles. We're going to take it into right into your upper body. So if you have weights at home, grab those. Maybe you have a block instead, you can use the blocks. Or no weights at all. You're going to put imaginary stress ball in between your palms, creating that resistance like you're taking a selfie. We're going to start in a squat position. So wiggle those toes, your legs are right underneath your hips. Put that imaginary stress ball, weights, whatever you have, relax those shoulders. Just basic bicep curls, connecting the elbows next to your ribs, tiny up, tiny down. You're creating that resistance up and when you lower. So take that selfie, flex both biceps going up and coming down, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, Putting the mind in the muscle, going to the beat. Knowing you can do this, we're all in this together. Breathe in, breathe out. Adding both heels to lift. If you want, adding a little bit of lower body, tiny up, lower, lift. Keep those arms going, that's what our focus is on now. Maybe you smile, warming up those face muscles. Going straight up towards the ceiling, pretending as, this, as if there's an imaginary string attached to the crown of your head. Flex, lower, lift. 
Tiny up, tiny down. Going straight up to the, to the ceiling. Can those stilettos get any taller? In four, we hold low. Three, last two, you got this. Last one, palms are gonna face towards your thighs, towards that rear. That corset's keeping that lower belly towards the spine, protecting it. Elbows are connected. Pull those arms in and lengthen them back. Pull in, lengthen. Nice little tricep kickback. Knees are right over those toes. Warming up these hamstrings, warming up the glutes. Pretending like you're taking a selfie now for the triceps. Both triceps are working. Your gaze stays right in front of you so that that neck is in line with the spine. Tiny up, bring it in. Bring it in, wiggling those toes, warming up those glutes. We're gonna hold high in four, three. Last two, you can do this. Hold it up on one, tiny pulse, pulse. Tiny up, tiny up, tiny up. So think about that little inch on a roller. You're just going tiny up, connecting those elbows, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. That corset's on. If you have any lower back pain, you're coming up. We're gonna add heel lift, alternating legs. Right, then left. Keep those arms going. Left, right. Left, right, left. You can always reset, regroup. Keep going, popping those heels up, getting that nice calf work in. Lift, 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 lift. And four, both heels stay high. Three, keep the arms going. Last two, last one. Nice little balance challenge. Keeping that corset on, those knees are right over those toes. Lengthening through the arms, keep those arms going. Your gaze stays right in front of you. Breathing, letting that core keep that chest proud. Breathe in, breathe out. Sinking to your lowest point, last four. Three, two, one. Woo! Standing up tall, rolling those shoulders back. We will be doing a nice cool down at the end. You can always open up those arms crossing each in front of you. Woo, great job. So now going into our shoulders. So side profile, you're gonna open up from the hips. So not from the knees, but from the hips. And then slowly maybe if you have any knee issues, you're coming down more into a wide V. Relax your shoulders, put that corset on. And what I mean by that, you're basically sucking that, low, that lower belly in it's gonna protect that lower back, but you're still breathing. So relax the shoulders. Put your imaginary stress balls in between your palms. Maybe the weights. Your choice, this is your class. We're gonna take both elbows back, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then pull them back in. Pull them back, squeezing towards your spine, and pull them back together. Pull back for two, squeeze forward for two. So your goal here is to keep that booty underneath your torso and that chest proud. Pretend as if that imaginary string still attached to the crown of your head. You can't go back, you can't go forward. You're staying perfectly straight. That beautiful posture we all wish we had all the time. Squeeze it back. Pull in, you're flexing all your muscles up top. Trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together, getting the back muscles, work in the tank top area. Pull it in, squeeze it back. You're trying to stay at your shoulder height. Any shoulder issues, you're coming down perfectly fine. Let's add a pulse and pick up the arms. Reach it back, pull it in. Adding the legs if you want. Reach back, pull in, squeezing, relax your gaze. Your hips aren't going past those knees. Not good for your knees at all. We're trying to fatigue these muscles. Pull it back, pull it forward. Reach back, pull forward, we're gonna hold low. In four, three, you can do this too. Last one, tiny squeeze. Squeeze, always lengthening the legs, any knee issues. 
or if you need to reset, regroup, squeezing those elbows close as you can together, relaxing the shoulders, squeeze, four, three, arms go T and two, last one, arms go T to I, palms go down, palms go together, down, together, down, twisting through the shoulder, but you're relaxing both shoulders away from your ear. You're like a pencil going straight up towards the ceiling, squeezing those glutes together so that that booty's underneath that hip, those hips. Lift, lower, lift, lower, breathe. Maybe you close your gaze, reaching through those fists, pull it down, push it up. Maybe your gaze goes high, then down low. Warming, getting those neck muscles involved as well. Pull up, reach down, pull up, reach down. Lifting up on those toes. A little bit more calf work. Challenging your core. Lift up, lower, reset, regroup. Last four, three, last two, last one. Woo! Rolling those shoulders back. You can always keep doing these um, over, maybe adding two to three minutes onto each set uh, to give you a full hour's worth of class. So now, getting those planks, you can either use a wall or we can, if you have a mat, you can be down on the mat as well. Relaxing those shoulders back. Option to be on your palms. Option to be on those forearms. You're gonna be on those tippy toes. So your gaze is right in front of you. That corset's on. You could always be on that knee. You're still getting that abdominal activation. If you're on your straight arms, press into those fingertips so that the weight is out of the wrists. And when you're ready, just hold. Trying to get that perfect alignment, squeezing those shoulder blades together, relaxing the shoulders. Your gaze stays right in front of you. Just shift forward and back. Going up on those tippy toes, pressing those heels back. Push. Resetting, regrouping when you need to. Always coming back to the knee. Keeping that core strong. It's keeping your chest proud. Reset, regroup. You're here for about two minutes. So you can do this. This is your class. Keeping those feet hip distance apart. You're rocking forward, rock back. And if you want a little bit more challenge, lift up one foot, a little bit of one leg work, you can do it. Pressing into the floor, resetting, regrouping. Couple more. You can do this, switching to the other side, flexing through that foot. Press forward and back. If you're on these straight arms, shift the weight into those fingers. Is your corset on? You can do this, relaxing the shoulders, keep your breath, breathe in, breathe out. You can do this, last four, three, last two, last one, down dog. Pedal out those feet, lengthening through the arms, letting that neck melt in between both biceps. Maybe you pedal out the feet. Woo! Bring your feet to hands, your hands to feet. Collapsing that chest over both thighs. We're gonna come up for a count of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so always grabbing water when you need. Reset, regroup, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. So going down into your last plank series, we're gonna get your obliques in there as well. So forearms, straight arms. If you have a wall, you can use the wall as well, or a bar, if you're lucky enough to have a bar in your house. Grab a hold of that as well. It's gonna take more um, resistance off those or more weight off your wrists if you're having any wrist issues. So when you're ready, coming on up, whatever suits you best today, 
Every day is different, so you can come to those knees. We're gonna take that right knee over to the right elbow and push it back. You're on the left tippy toes. Bring that knee in towards your chest and push it back. You're staying in that perfect plank position. And pull that leg over to the left elbow and press it back. Your goal here is to keep that leg lifted off the ground, crunching in to both three sides as hard as you can. Resetting, regrouping, coming right back in, knowing this is your class. You can do it. We're all in this together, even though we're not all together. We're still in it together, everyone. So breathe in, breathe out, crunching as hard as you can, getting these abdominals the love that they deserve, flexing through the foot, your gaze stays right in front of you. Crunch in, pull back. Couple more on this side. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, pressing through those fingertips. And four, we switch to the left side. Three, last two, last one. Any wrist issues, you can pop up into a down dog or you stay right back in. Crunching that left elbow, or left knee to the left elbow, and push it back. Crunching in to the center, push back. Crunch over to the right, and push back. Pressing is like there's a wall right behind you. You're trying to flex that heel, pushing back. Your corset's on, so make sure that your hips are staying square, aka in line with each other. They're gonna wanna try and Hike out, correct them, pull them right back to center. Breathe in, breathe out. Pressing through those forearms. If that's where you're at, crunching that knee a little bit harder into the chest. Getting those obliques, some love as well. Breathe in and out. Couple more here, pushing yourself. What do you want out of this class? Last four. Three, crunching a little harder on this last one. Hike those hips up into a down dog, pedaling out the feet. Lift the right heel, lift the left. And walking hands to feet. And again, coming up for count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull those shoulders back. All right. Always extending these planks if you want a little bit more. So if you don't have a bar, you can always use a wall. You can always use a chair. You can always use maybe the hand rest on your couch, just depending on what feels best for you. But we're just gonna warm up these upper thighs. So finding a wall. We're finding a bar. Your knees are gonna be right over those toes. You're gonna to sink that booty down so that it's connecting to the wall. Wiggle those toes. So basically you're in a chair position. If you have a bar, this is where you're gonna be at. If you have a couch, your arm's gonna be on the couch. Maybe you just Put those knees right over those toes. You can wrap this left arm around your core to make sure that that corset is still on. Warming up these upper thighs, warming up the glutes, those hamstrings, you're wiggling the toes so that the weights in the heels relax the shoulders. You're breathing in, breathe out. Woo! Nice little chair pose, warming up the lower body so now the upper body's on vacation. Take advantage, relax those fingertips, relax those shoulders, breathing, but remembering to have that corset on at all times, it's gonna support that lower back. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, relaxing your shoulders away from their ears, their ear poison and bar. Last four, last three, can you sink any lower? Two, last one lifting both legs we're going to do a little bit of calf work so you can do this really anywhere in your home grab a wall grab a chair we're going to start in a wide v stance 
So open up from those hips. We're going to do it in three different ways. Work in your upper thighs, your calf muscles. So extend these series. We're going to go through them quickly. Relax your fingertips, maybe on your hips. You can be in prayer or high circle. Lifting the heels and lower, lift, lower. So now you're in this wide V stance. That booty is right underneath your torso. So make sure it's not out. You're trying to get these calf muscles burning, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. And I would do about four more sets, eight of these. And then you're gonna bring both feet together, making that little piece of pie. Again, your booty's underneath your torso. If it's out, squeeze those glutes together to pull them back in. Connecting both feet, arms, same thing. Can be relaxed, we're just gonna lift and lower. Both heels should be connecting when they lower down. Lift, lower, tiny up, tiny down. So you should feel a difference in this calf work. Again, doing about four more sets of eight of these, then we're gonna invert the feet. So a little pigeon toe, bringing both big toes together. Same thing, tucking that rear underneath your torso. Lift, lower, lift. You're going straight up towards the ceiling, that imaginary string still attached to the crown of your, of your head. Lower, lift, lower. So you're just getting the calf work in different ways. Same thing, four more sets of eight of these. And you can always bring both legs back. After finishing, we will do, be doing a nice cool down at the end. Woo! So now we got the calf work out of the way, grabbing a wall, grabbing a bar, grabbing back of a chair, whatever's best for you. This right foot's gonna be underneath your hip. You're gonna extend the left toes out to the side. Getting this side seat working. So put your hand on this muscle, this part of your cheek. You should feel this little muscle lift the leg. So here's the difference. My knee's lifting this time. My ankle's lifting. This is what should be lifting your leg, this tiny little muscle. That's why it's only going a little bit up. Lift, lift. You should feel it contract. Put that corset on. This right foot's gonna get fatigued. When it does, wiggle the toes. Maybe put the weight in the big toe, wherever it's not now. Your goal is to keep these hips squared, squeezing this muscle up. Lift, lift, lift. We're gonna hold high. Again, do this for about four counts of eight. Holding up in four, three, two, one. Just point those feet and flex. Nice little hamstring work, point and flex. Relaxing your shoulders, your hands can be high circle. A little bit more balance, slight bend to this right knee. Point, flex, so you're not only working this side seat, you're working this side seat as well. Toning that behind, you're sculpting your body and bar. Last four, three, last two, relax those shoulders, hold that leg up on one. We're just gonna circle, circle back, circle back. So squeezing that glute to push that leg into a circle, about the size of a dime or maybe a quarter, tiny squeeze. Putting your hand on this muscle helps you know that you're working the right one. It's not your ankle, that knee's not doing a thing. It's that booty, that side seat. Last four, last three, last two, Last one, hold that leg up. We're gonna lift, lifting with this right heel is gonna lift up high and lower, extending through that left leg still, lift and lower. You're going straight up, straight down, do about four more rounds of eight on this side. And then you're gonna finish off, maybe you pop both hips, shaking out those legs and facing towards the other side when you're ready to do the other way, always making sure that that foot is underneath your hip and a slight bend to that knee and lengthening, really trying to work your upper thigh, that side seat. So once you're done on that side, we're gonna finish off at the wall. Um, so find a bare wall at your home. You can always use a block. You can always have a mat underneath you as well, if that's an option. 
but you can always be just standard on the floor uh, because your body weight is going to be doing all the work. So put the mind in that booty because that's what we're going to be focusing on. You're sculpting this behind. So I want you to bring your rear all the way up to the baseboard of your wall. Pretend like there's a bar. So you're going to put your feet flat on the wall. You're going to want to glue that spine to the floor, relaxing those fingertips. So your rear is going to be underneath your knees. So you, you might not want to be all the way up to the baseboard. Your knees are going to be underneath your hips. And when you're ready, pressing onto the wall, but squeezing these glutes, that's what's going to lift you up. You're going to lift those hips straight up and then lower down, but not touching the mat. Put those hands on both cheeks. You're going to feel those muscles contract to lift you up and down. Lift up, down. Maybe you're just on your heels, letting those toes lift, letting those hamstrings work, relaxing your eyes, relaxing those fingertips, remembering that the upper body is on vacation. So take advantage. Relax that neck, the top part of your spine. Let this booty, your upper thighs, those hamstrings do all the work. You can always have the block underneath you for more support, lift, lower. But your goal is to try not and touch the mat, the floor, the block. You're trying to fatigue the side seat, the center seat muscles in your behind. Squeeze up, pull it down, squeeze it up, pull it down. Four, we hold high. Three, relaxing the shoulders as much as you can. Hold up on this last one, tiny pulse, 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 pulse. So lifting up those toes, feeling these muscles contract, pulling those hips straight up towards the ceiling, squeeze, squeeze. And I promise putting your hands on these muscles will let you know that you're working them the right muscles. It's not your knees. Not your hips, let these muscles fatigue. We're gonna hold those hips high. You can do this for another two counts of eight. But we're gonna hold high now and we're gonna lift that right leg up. You can flex those feet. Maybe you point one leg bridge work. Pulse, pulse, pulse going straight up. Lift, now the side seat's gonna fatigue. Put the mind in the muscle. Think about what you're doing later. You're going straight up. Lift, lift, relax those fingers, relax your jawline, relax your forehead. Breathe, knowing that you're doing something good for you. Last four, last three, switching legs in two. Last one, both legs meet. Pop up that other opposite leg, tiny pulse, pulse. And I want you to also think about here, trying to get those hips in line with each other. This left hip is gonna wanna just pull down. You gotta pull it back up to meet the right. Relaxing, that corset's still on, so put that lower belly towards that spine. Lift, you should feel it in this side seat, that hamstring, doing about two more sets of eight on this side, but we're gonna bring it down in four. Three, last two, last, one, both feet are now on the wall. Just hold, squeezing both cheeks together as if somebody's taking a lighter to both. What would you do? Your initial reaction would be to squeeze, right? Squeezing those glutes as tight as you can, pushing them up towards the ceiling, relaxing your fingertips. Last 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lowering the hips, bringing both knees into your chest, taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Whew. Maybe you go rock side to side. We're staying in this position for our abdominal since we're already here. Connect those feet up to a wall. You're gonna lengthen, maybe a slight bend to those knees, but now you're gonna move that booty all the way towards the baseboard. So now your hips are underneath those legs. You're gonna take that right hand, 
trying to wrap these ribs around your hips, you're gonna to go to that left leg. Maybe a slight V to the legs is gonna be more beneficial to you. You're just gonna lift up and reach it back down. Lift up for two and lower for two. So you're going straight up and then over and pull it down straight up and over. Nice little oblique crunch, lift. Lower, reach it up and then over to the side. You should feel that movement of twisting over to the left side. Your gaze goes with and lower. Gluing your heels in to the wall, putting your hand on those upper abdominals. You should feel them contract as you're lifting up and lowering. Couple more on this side. Maybe you reach more towards that baby toe. Let your abdominals fatigue. You're gluing as much of that spine on the mat as you can. Last four, three, last two, last one. Switching to the other side, your right arm can wrap around your stomach. It assures you still have that corset on and lift up and over and down. Lift up, reach. So you're getting a nice little crunch and a nice little oblique work twist down. Going straight up and over, lower, lift. Can you relax that jawline? Can you relax your forehead? Maybe your eyes close, letting your abdominals do all the work, reaching through your fingers and then twisting to the side. Lift, twist, back down, lift, twist, Back down, couple more on this side. And then you're gonna come back down, lengthening both arms, bringing both knees into your chest. And we're gonna turn over into a nice last plank working the ab abdominals. So if you have gliders at home, good for you. If you have hardwood floor, you can use hand towels as gliders. And if you have carpet, you can use paper plates. So there's so many ways that, that you can do this. And again, you don't need these at all, but we're gonna get those obliques working again. So you're gonna be in a tabletop position to start off and pressing into your plastic plates, onto your towels, whatever works best for you right now in this situation. We're gonna reach those legs back so you're in a plank position and we're gonna start just taking that right elbow to the right knee and push it back, taking the left elbow to the left knee and push back. You can always be on your forearms, squeezing up and maybe you just take it to one side if that leg is down on the ground, perfectly fine. I just want you working these obliques. You're pushing yourself. We're all here for a different reason. Squeezing that elbow towards that knee. Squeeze, or vice versa, sorry. Squeeze up, push back, squeeze, push. Pressing the weight in to your fingertips, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Breathing in, breathing out, reset, regroup. Couple more, really crunching that, that knee into that elbow. Your gaze is right in front of you. You can do this, you're pushing yourself. You know your body best. Squeeze it up, push it back. Is that corset still on? This is where we're finishing off. Squeeze up, push back, squeeze up, push back. Picking it up, going at your own pace. Maybe you slow it down. Maybe you wanna get that heart rate up. And you're squeezing up and pressing back. Squeeze up, press back, woo! And if this doesn't feel good, you're just holding. Let that core keep that chest proud for the final 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, you can take both big toes together, putting your knees at a wide V, letting both arms go out in front as your forehead collapses onto the floor, onto your mat. Taking a nice deep breath in, deep breath out. Whew. Letting your hips push 
Just melt more into the floor, opening up those hip flexors, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing all toes, all fingers. And taking both arms over to the right side, pushing the weight into the left hip. Let your left hand stack on top of the right, relaxing your forehead. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. Whew. Expanding that oblique, nice little stretch. And taking it on over to the other side. Let your weight in your hips go to the right now. Stacking the right hand on top of the left. Whew. Letting your neck just melt. And coming back through center. You can come into a tabletop position. Maybe you go into a full cobra lengthening your abdominals your gaze goes high maybe you do a baby cobra staying on the mat pulling your chest to the front of your mat your neck your gaze goes high and then maybe for a nice little deep twist you look towards both the right ankle and then the left this is lengthening stretching those abdominals too oh and when you're ready, hike those hips up to pedal out those feet. You're lengthening the arms. Let your neck just go. Melting in between both biceps. We did a lot of calf work. So pedal out those feet. And walk hands to feet, feet to hands. And rolling up for a count of eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rolling those arms back, interlocking both fingers or both hands. Let your gaze go up as you pull those shoulders back. Slight bend of the knee as you fold, trying to let your chest collapse onto those upper thighs, kind of in a squat position. Opening that chest and then coming back up when you're ready. Arms are going to go out to the side. Bringing the left across the right. Let your neck go from side to side. Rolling that wrist, rolling those fingers. Smiling, knowing that you just did something so good for you. And opening up the chest again. Letting that right arm cross as the neck goes clockwise, counterclockwise. Letting the wrist go side to side. Opening up one more time. Let our gaze go low as we breathe in and we breathe out. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Relax the shoulders as we take our final deep breath in. Letting it out through the mouth. <sighs> Bowing our heads, closing our eyes. I'm so thrilled that all of you um, came and participated in this bar class with me. I know a lot of stuff is going on right now, so just know that we're all here for you at Pi and you conquered this class like usual. Leave your house, leave anywhere knowing that you're strong, you're worthy, and until next time, namaste.